Hi, and welcome to Rudy's Dessou Science Fantasy Experience, and to an episode of Retro Future, a six-part series looking at Fans Project Glacial Lord, the most wildest combat team in the universe. Episode 1, Tail Club, a prehistoric beast that changes from a DD Curus to a robot soldier, and forms the left leg of Glacial Lord. So let's have a look at the box. The box is always such a integral part to the whole toy experience for me. It's where the toy experience starts. It's, it's when you really first get the enjoyment of the toy and Fun's Project Glacial Lord absolutely pulls no punches when it comes to the packaging. It's just, it's done in this beautiful palette of colours just the browns and the reds and the oranges and it does a, just a great job of evoking that G1 nostalgia when you look at the artwork at the front when you look at the the robot it just it really homages you know the G1 combiners of you know the from 85 to to 88 you know the likes of the Terracons and the Seacons and those types of Scramble City combiners where you know each limb can be placed in different configurations and this just it absolutely oozes that nostalgia and just gives me incredible feels for for the toy and it, it doesn't end there you know you've got little bits of damage across the top you know pretend creases and whatnot that just really add to the overall bespoke design of this third party toy and it's you know these these aren't actual damages you know this is printed on you know there's a what looks like a whole rip here you know where the tape has been pulled off to get into the toy you know i've got g1 boxes that look like this because you know that's how they were opened and you know over time they've slightly got more and more scuffed so yeah they're just they're literally everywhere each boxer uh, kind of has this little bit of damage to them but each box is slightly different so as each episode progresses I'll, I'll show each box each time and show you the different subtleties from from each one and they they tend to follow the same kind of bit with you know you've got the the beast and the robot on the top beast on the side and the robot on the back and then it'll show you the combined form of glacial or, or on the back with where the limb actually fits but yeah here, here is the box and I've got to tell you it's just it's just an absolute dream of a of a box you couldn't ask for a, a better box when I saw these at uh, auto assembly in 2013 I just I wish I'd kind of got them and I, um, I'm sad that I didn't but I'm also it, it just really built up you know five years worth of wanting to get them and there was only three at auto assembly in 2013 so you know I wasn't I didn't want to just get three I wanted to get the whole lot but subsequently you know I think only three had been released so you know that I don't think Tusker had been been released at that point or Mega Zero but yeah here is here is the box in all its it's all its glory And we are free of the plastic prison. Oh my God, polystyrene. I had no idea. Oh, this is awesome. You just do not get polystyrene in toys anymore. Oh, this is incredible. And we've got the instruction manual. And we have got some oh, sticker sheet that's already pre-applied. I know that they've got, they're covered in stickers anyway. And then this is just, oh, it's a sticker sheet with, with them already done. Oh, this thing is incredible. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's oh, they just you can see that they're already applied, and then there's a spare number seven. Oh my god, this I'm I am absolutely loving this toy. We've got the instruction manual. Yeah, so Tail Club is the little character. 
and the DD Curious is the beast. So yeah, here's the instructions. Robotized Fusion, step one. Oh my god, that's so much better than just step one. Fuck, I can barely contain myself. This thing is incredible. So yeah, this kind of, this actually gives away a bit of the special feature, because it's not just a combiner, it's got a kind of like a, a headmaster, target master kind of extra little bit of function. So Tail Club is, you know, the pilot of the of the beast. And there's his weapon, which is formed from his head and his tail, his shield, which I would believe is his foot. Oh yeah, oh my god, oh my god, Let, let's just, let's keep going, this this thing is insane. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, here is Tail Club. And again, the the continuation of the, the damage, the scuffness. So yeah, here is Tail Club. Again, just like that little, the attention to detail is phenomenal. And then there's just... A hole punch, you know, you can imagine that being in, you know, the WH Smiths or the Jolly Giant or Toys R Us back in the day. That would be on the, on the prong on the shelf. So you could buy extra little Headmasters, Titan Masters, Target Masters, whatever you want to call them nowadays. On to one side, yeah. So he's got, here's his weapon, his tail. Polystyrene, I can't believe this polystyrene. And then we have Didi Curious himself. Oh, I don't read the instructions, obviously. It's too much fun, let's freestyle, really. his tail goes oh my god this thing is incredible oh the colors everything about it just the plastic feels incredible oh some tiny little bit of articulation i didn't really think you'd, i'd expect to get any articulation i'm not am i it's it's homaging a, a g1 toy so yeah here he is in his beast mode He's DD Curious mode. Incredible. Yeah, and we've got Tail Club. So yeah, he, he can ride on top. Let's have a look at that now. So here we have Tail Club freed from his plastic prison. And like he is super cool. That just that orange absolutely pops. And for articulation, we have literally got up and down. But, you know, I, I'm not expecting articulation at all. But there's, you know, some some paint apps on his face. And the face sculpt, for a tiny figure, his face sculpt is incredible. And he can ride on top of the beast. There we go. So, to take it from Beast Rider mode to Robotized Fusion, you simply just take off Tail Club, pop his arms down, fold his legs up, much like a Headmaster. I'm going to put that to one side. You're going to take off his back, which you can now see that creates the foot for Glacial Lord. It's going to pop off his tail and his head, which creates the weapon, the club, the mace. Extra little weapon piece. I like this little tap, and that is literally just going to go into that peg hole there. And that creates the weapon. And then for robot mode, you just want to bring the legs down from the side. Bring the arms down, pop the fists out, just like G1, 
and then you're going to pop the neck back and then tail club slides into the chest piece for ribotized fusion you can pop a shield on the side and you can hold his weapon in another hand and there we have Robotized fusion of Tail Club. Doesn't it just ooze G1? It's just... The colours are incredible. The transformation is simple but effective. And it is just like... It is just like a G1 toy. But done, you know, to the highest spec standard. You, you know, this is still actually five years ago. And it's from 2013. And it's incredible. As you said, there's no articulation. I think the instructions, which I've barely read, obviously, uh, have, have the, the weapon angled. So there he is. Tail Club. Tail Club creates the left leg of Glacial Lord. So you simply just want to pop the shield off, which is going to create the foot. Remove the weapon and just take the head off because that is going to reattach to the body. Slides out. You want to pop the connecting port back inside. You then want to just push the legs up, pop the fist back in and bring the arms back down. And then you want to bring the whole body forwards. Which is good. So far, which is going to bring up the connecting port, and then you can pop the head, slide it back in to the body, and then it literally the foot fits on just like a typical G1 combiner, and there you have the left leg of Glacial Lord ready to go to be combined with the others. So that's been episode one, Tail Club. Stay tuned to the series for the next episode, Razor Spike, coming soon.